my dear students i welcome you all to my educational channel the name of my educational channel is priyanka datto in this educational channel you will find video presentations on english language and literature of school level college level and competitive examinations now today's assignment is a video presentation on the poem entitled on killing a tree the name of the poet is give petal the topic to be covered in this video presentation is long answer type questions and their answers from the poem on killing a tree now let us move to the next page to look at the first long answer type question and its answer the first question is how would you justify the title of petal's poem on killing a tree the probable answer of the question is the title of petal's poem consists of four words the first word on suggests that the rest of the title will tell about the theme of the poem the rest of the title that is killing a tree suggests that the poem is about the way of destroying a tree fully the poem itself tells that giving a simple jab of the knife or hacking and chopping will not destroy a tree it also tells that complete uprooting of a tree and the complete destruction of its root is the only way of killing a tree thus questions are allowed by the title and the answers are given by the poem so we can say that the title is appropriate now let us move to the next question to see at the next long answer type question from this poem and also know what its answer can be the question is give in your own words the substance of petals on killing a tree the answer is a tree draws its sustenance from the top layer of the soil and sunlight and oxygen from the atmosphere to grow and achieves vitality in the process as a result the act of killing a tree proves to be more difficult than it seems to be for example a simple jab of the knife causes nominal damage to the tree then hacking and chopping is done but the tree exhibits enough vitality to remake itself so the root of the tree is dragged out completely from the soil then this root is scorched and choked in sunlight and air respectively as a result the root becomes completely destroyed now one can say with certainty that the tree has been killed let us move to the next question give in your own words the central idea of petal's poem on killing a tree the answer is human beings try to destroy trees for the expansion of civilization but trees try to oppose it by virtue of their vitality for example due to the jab of the knife though the height becomes rough and spotted leaves come out of the injured part then though the stem of the tree is hacked and chopped and it feels excruciating pain it remakes itself by making curled green twigs appear from the lower part of the stem however when it is completely uprooted and its root is fully destroyed it fails to sustain it thus the process exhibits the will of trees to serve human beings selflessly and the foolishness of the human beings involved in it let us move to the next question the next question is write in your own words the central theme of petals on killing a tree the answer is petals on killing a tree is about the complete destruction of trees in order to achieve the said objective a simple jab of the knife is given to the trunk of the tree the bark of the affected part becomes rough and spotted but the sprouting of leaves suggest that the tree has got rid of the onslaught then the trunk of the tree is hacked and chopped though sap oozes out of the hacked stem the bark of curled green twig suggests that the tree will remake itself however when the root of a tree is completely taken out and is destroyed fully the tree fails to survive thus the said objective is achieved 
Now let us move to the next question. The question is describe in detail the growth of the tree as depicted in the first stanza of On Killing a Tree. The answer is Gib Patel gives a detailed account of the growth of the tree in the first stanza of On Killing a Tree. He presents this growth in two phases, outer growth and inner growth. The inner growth takes place as the tree collects food from the top layer of the soil and absorbs sunlight and air from nature. It is on the basis of this inner growth that the outer growth of the tree takes place. This outer growth involves the proliferation of leaves in the form of branches and leaves. Thus the tree has a slow but steady growth and most importantly this growth provides vitality to the tree. Now let us move to the next question. The next question is how does the tree heal itself in Patel's poem on killing a tree? The answer is inner vitality helps a tree to face a couple of onslaughts. The first one is a simple jab of the knife to the stem. At this, the injured part of the bark becomes rough and spotted. But the sprouting of leaves from this part suggests that the tree has recovered from it. The second one occurs when the stem of the tree is hacked and chopped. Sap, which is equivalent to human blood, starts oozing from the existing stem. Not only that, the tree experiences excruciating pain. However, the coming out of small and green branches suggests that the tree will remake itself. In both these cases, the tree heals itself. Let us move to the next question. The next question is, how does Patel personify the tree in the poem On Killing a Tree? The answer of the question is, in On Killing a Tree, Patel has personified the tree in diverse ways. First, the words like killing and kill have been deliberately used in the title and in the text respectively. Then, the jab of the knife which can kill a human being is looked upon as a method of killing a tree. Next, the phrase leprosoid aptly compares the tree to a person who has suffered from leprosy. Not only that, the sap of the tree has been equated to human blood. Again, the tree is said to feel pain as a human being feels. Finally, choking has been referred to as the method of killing a tree. Let us move to the next question. Comment on the tone of the poem on killing a tree. The answer of the question is, Patel's on killing a tree has an ironical tone and it permeates the poem in diverse ways. First, the systematic killing of a tree has been looked upon as a ceremony. This process involves three steps, tying the trunk with a rope, taking out the root fully from the soil and destroying this root by exposing it to sunlight and air. Secondly, the juxtaposition of the gradual but slow growth of a tree and its gradual destruction in a single poem creates an ironic atmosphere. Finally, in the context of the insensibility of human beings to the help rendered by trees, the fury of human beings to destroy trees at any cost has an ironical undertone. Let us move to the next question. The next question is, comment on the role of the sun, air and water as you find in Give Petals on Killing a Tree. The answer to the question is, in On Killing a Tree, the sun, air and water play important roles. The tree absorbs sunlight and prepares food. The root of the tree is destroyed by exposing it to sunlight. Thus the sun acts both as a creator and a destroyer. Air in the form of oxygen helps the tree to conduct the process of respiration. Again, air in the form of carbon dioxide helps the tree to prepare food. On the other hand, air chokes the root. Thus, it too plays a dual role. Water, as different from the sun and air, plays a unidirectional role. As it gives moisture to the root, no wonder. When the root is kept bare of water, it becomes hard in filling. Let us move to the next question. Explain in your own words as to how the poem on killing a tree can be read at two levels. 
Give patterns on killing a tree can be read at two levels, surface level and deeper level. At the surface level, the poem is a systematic analysis of the killing of a tree. Complete uprooting of the tree and total destruction of the root has been referred to as the only way of killing a tree. At another level, this deliberate effort of deforestation has been looked upon as perverse and tragic, aimed at the expansion of civilization. This effort is not conducive to the principle of sustainable development. Therefore, if this planned deforestation continues, the base of the environment will crumble down and human beings will move towards annihilation. Let us move to the next question. How does Patel create a sense of haunting in the methodical analysis of the execution of a tree in the last two stanzas of On Killing a Tree? The answer to this question is, in the last two stanzas of On Killing a Tree, Patel analyzes the methodical execution of a tree. Several steps are involved in this process. These steps are tying the stem of the tree with a stout rope, uprooting the tree fully, and scorching and choking the root in sun and air until it becomes brown in color, twisted in shape, hard in feeling, and withered in appearance. Since the entire process involves indirect self-destruction of man, the sense of haunting becomes unquestionable. The ineffectuality of the simple jaw of the knife and hacking and chopping in killing a tree reinforces this impression. Let us move to the next question. The next question is, how is the life force of the tree described in the poem on killing? The answer to this question is, a tree, as Gibb Patel looks upon it, is a storehouse of life force. Therefore, it can face a couple of onslaughts. The first onslaught is inflicted when it is given a simple jab of the knife. As a result of this, the injured part of the bark becomes rough and spotted. However, the sprouting of leaves from this part suggests that, sorry, suggests the recovery of the tree. The second onslaught occurs when the tree is hacked at the stem and the hacked stem is chopped. Though sap starts to ooze initially, later on small and green branches begin to come out of the existing stem. These branches, if not outwardly prevented from growing up, will help the tree to remake itself. Now, we have come to the penultimate question from this poem. How, and the question is, how is a tree killed in On Killing a Tree? The answer to this question is, in Give Petals On Killing a Tree, the poet shows that a tree is killed through a number of ways. At first, the trunk of a tree is tied tightly at its lower part with a rope. Then, great pressure is exerted and so the root becomes fully uprooted. Next, the root is scorched and choked in sunlight and air respectively. As a result, the root becomes brown in color, twisted in shape, hard in feeling and withered in appearance. Now, it can be said that with certainty that no life exists in the root which in reality is the storehouse of the strength of the tree. Thus, by following these interlinked steps, a tree is killed. Now, we shall move to the final question from this poem. And the question is, how would you analyze the ending of Give Petals on Killing a Tree? The answer to this question is, the ending of Petals on Killing a Tree tells about the method of killing a tree. At first, the trunk of the tree is tied tightly at its lower part with a rope. Then, great pressure is exerted and, the so, and so the root becomes fully uprooted. Next, the root is caused and choked in sunlight and air respectively. As a result, the root becomes brown in color, twisted in shape, hard in feeling and withered in appearance. Now, it can be said with certainty that no life exists in the root, which is the storehouse of the strength of the tree. The difficulty involved in the process provides an ironical dig at human insensibility to the service of the tree. This is all what I have to say about the long answer type questions from this poem and their probable answers. Now, before I move to the 
valedictory note here is an important declaration and the declaration is that in the description of this video presentation you will find a link by clicking on the link you will be able to go to my personal blog or website where you will be able to view materials related to this video presentation that is in the link by clicking on the link you will be able to see or rather view the long answer type questions and their answers from the poem entitled on killing a tree now the final thing that is the valedictory note before i conclude this video presentation i request you to subscribe my channel to share my video presentation to put forward like if you like my video presentation of course put forward your opinion and your queries in the comment section of this video presentation thank you see you again in my next video presentation thank you